One of the lesser discussed members of the Axis powers during World War II is Bulgaria, which had allied itself with Germany and the Central Powers in the previous war, which had gone really, really well at first. After the First World War was over, Bulgaria, along with the other losers, lost a fair bit of territory, which, to be blunt, they wanted back. Bulgaria had been having some internal problems and was currently under the personal rule of Tsar Boris III. Boris had spent the 1930s neutering the army's political influence, in which many had communist sympathies and had began a series of political reforms. These reforms culminated in national elections, in which communists were forbidden from voting or running and the pro-Boris faction of the government was victorious. This government sought to reverse Bulgaria's ongoing international isolation to strengthen the country. That doesn't mean that Bulgaria was willing to be friends with everyone, though. When the USSR offered to assist Bulgaria by supporting its claims to southern Dobruja, unsurprisingly Boris said no because Tsars and communism don't mix. When the Second World War broke out in 1939, Bulgaria was pretty keen to stay out of it and declared its neutrality immediately. It wasn't long into the war that Bulgaria, with the backing of Italy, was able to push for the return of southern Dobruja, and this was handed back to them on September the 7th, 1940. After this, it became pretty clear that Bulgaria could gain a lot from cooperation with the Axis. Also, Bulgaria was becoming ever more reliant on trade with Germany for two reasons. The first was that German support was needed to modernise Bulgaria's ageing armament industry. The second was that international trade had to flow through the Black Sea and the Bosphorus, meaning that it could be stopped by the USSR and Turkey. This meant that when Mussolini promised this territory in return for aiding his coming invasion of Greece, Bulgaria would have greater access to trade. A counter-offer was made by Stalin which offered these lands to Bulgaria in return for Bulgaria allowing Soviet troops to be stationed there. Again, Boris said no because he had seen what had happened to the Baltic states when they allowed Soviet troops to be stationed there. He also said no to Mussolini because Boris was staunchly against any war. Mussolini invaded without Bulgarian help and it did not go well. As such, Hitler wanted to send German troops through Bulgaria in order to put an end to Greek resistance, and also to end Yugoslavia, because why not? Bulgaria couldn't exactly resist the Germans, and so Boris and the government opted to join the Axis powers and assist. As thanks for their assistance, Bulgaria was gifted these lands, which confirmed to many that an alliance with Germany was for the best. Whilst Germany had allowed Bulgaria to join the Axis, it was mostly due to convenience. In fact, Germany's political leadership never grew to trust the Bulgarians fully throughout the entire war. There were a few reasons for this. There was a concern that Bulgaria would simply take its new territories and just leave the Axis because it didn't want to fight. Concern number two was the fact that Bulgaria had refused to implement the anti-Jewish laws that Germany had demanded of the other members of the Axis. Whilst Jews were deported from the new territories by the German troops that had conquered them, Tsar Boris and the higher-ups in the Orthodox Church made sure to defy the orders to deport Jews from Bulgaria proper. The third concern was the immense pro-Russian sentiment across Bulgaria, which would become much more important in a mere few months. In fact, when Germany did invade the USSR, Bulgaria didn't join them and even maintained diplomatic relations with it. That said, things still ended pretty poorly for Bulgaria though. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching, with extra thanks to my patrons that you see on screen now, and a special thanks to James Bizanet, Party Boyko, Azarka Flash, Chris Wicker, Rob Waterhouse, Michael Reynolds, Gustav Swan, Maggie Pakskowski, Winston Kaywood, Raphael, Adam Harvey, Anthony Beckett, Sky Chappelle and the Amusement Archives.